Well, I smile on the face of Ken Oferata and his team for pulling the deal through. I'm so sure the IMF managing director would also be smiling because of her public advocacy to help Ghana secure the loan. The approval of the program we are learning allows for an immediate disbursement of the first tranche of $600 million. The IMF Communication Department would release a statement anytime from now, which would be followed by a news conference tomorrow afternoon. This obviously marks an important step for Ghana, but Ken Oforiata and his team would have to keep a good fiscal posture and provide favorable terms to creditors to avoid any sort of issues or protracted negotiations looking at the case of Zambia and the rest. The IMF itself has said on its website a while ago that the next step is for the official creditor committee to agree with the Ghanaian authorities the specific modalities of how official creditors intend to deliver debt relief consistent with the fund program uh, parameters. So while the government celebrates this loan approval, it has a lot of work to do in order to keep the program running and ultimately retain investor confidence. Now let's get some reaction, shall we? The Dean of the University of Cape Coast Business School, Professor John Gashi, has been speaking about Ghana's breakthrough with the IMF deal. He thinks the deal will restore investor confidence in the country. Take a listen. After the board approval, uh, we now wait for disbursement uh, of the monies and then other technical uh, engagement with the government of Ghana in the management of the economy. That is what we await. Uh, we were told that $600 million will be released uh, very quickly. Uh, and after that, uh, performance benchmark will be adhered to. That will trigger the release of uh, further tranches uh, going forward. But there will be a joint press conference of the IMF and the government of Ghana, represented by the finance minister and the governor of the Bank of Ghana. And that press conference will make things clear to all of us as to whether there is some other uh, conditions precedent to the disbursements of the first tranche or not. So those are the things we are waiting for. And I must indicate that uh, this is just the first leg of the engagement. This is now giving the IMF the authority to lend to Ghana and the authority to engage more than just mere membership activities that they have been doing that culminate in Article 4 consultative report. So now it gives the IMF a further mandate to watch over the economy of Ghana. So that is where we are now.